Can you introduce yourself, please? Yes. Uh, my name is Yasser. Uh, I'm 15 year old, and I'm the spokesperson of Team Tunisia uh, in Vector Robotics EDR 2019. Uh, how was your experience in Vector Robotics World Championship 2019? It was amazing. Like uh, me and my friends uh, were capable to impress the judges, and we got the judges award. Uh, it was amazing hearing the judge telling you that. Uh, for example, I've never seen such a thing, or uh, you are amazing, you are exceptional. Like, we spent so many nights and so many days working on that, and uh, finally we, we achieved more than we imagined. So, it's wow. <laughs> I knew that you are the one, one of the uh, engineering book uh, creator. Yeah. Uh, can you speak about your creation, your uh, engineering book? Yes. So, uh, before everything, I want to thank my co-writer, Fatma, because um, she helped me a lot. Well, the thing is that we divided uh, between us the work. Uh, I was uh, the responsible of, uh, like, principally uh, drawing the 3D designs and all, and she was uh, the writer. So, what I can say about my experience is that I put uh, what I love in a paper. I put art and I put STEM, and the result was magnificent and like the judges were like whoever did that is an artist I'm like I know I'm an artist <laughs> don't you do it <laughs> yeah but it was hard because uh, we study a lot so we don't we only have the weekends to uh, do that but finally it was uh, astonishing and everyone was excellent like this is the perfect engineering notebook I was like yeah it is <laughs> yeah Excellent. So, uh, how can you engage girls in STEAM to empower them and to uh, let them know more about engineering? Well, first, they need to love STEAM because uh, uh, for me it is uh, a very huge and um, precious uh, like uh, subject to study because uh, right now, like nowadays, we need te uh, technology, we need science in our daily life. And uh, for girls, I mean, girls have uh, face so many problems in their daily life, and I think they might begin to think about solutions. And like, men cannot uh, understand our problems like we do. And um, I mean, uh, we are like. Maybe we are, we are, uh, we have some physical changes or something, but in our mind, like we can be better than men. It, it's just stereotypes, and we don't like stereotypes. So we need to change them by getting involved in STEM. And uh, if we uh, like prove that we exist, men will just let us. I, I mean, uh, stereotypes will be ended, and women will be like really appreciated and have a great value. Uh, how did you get the news that you are one of the champions of World Championship VEX Robotics 2019? Well, I was uh, sitting with my friends and we were like, oh my god, this is a judge's award. <laughs> and then uh, our heart was beating really fast and I was like, okay, if we don't have it, it's okay. We, we worked hard and all. And then, and then they said, see you in Tunisia. And I was like... Oh my god, I thought I would tear up, but I couldn't, I was, I was obliging myself to cry, but I couldn't cry, I was just laughing and we hugged the judges, like we want to thank them so much because they took our engineering notebook under consideration even if we didn't have nationals, and they were so sweet, we sang for them and they liked it, they even took videos and photographs of us, we just want to thank everyone there. If I will say to whom you are thankful for this experience? First of all, I'm thankful to my uh, mentors and my mother because uh, they were uh, the persons who uh, were the most exhausted for me, with me. Uh, like, uh, my mother especially, she was like driving and uh, all night and <laughs> because even on her uh, weekend day, she was like taking me out of the house. She wanted to relax but I can't let her relax. <laughs> And uh, my mentors are amazing, I really love them. And of course my co-writer, my lovely co-writer <laughs> Fatma. And of course my other teammates, which are amazing. And uh, we became very fastly friends. And I just want to thank them all and want to congratulate them. Thank you. So your experience in one word? Wow. That's all I can say. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.